वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज श्रीकांत टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टीएल टीएसक्यूएल एंड द पीएलएसक्यूएल सो व्हाट इज टीएसक्यूएल एंड व्हाट इज पीएलएसक्यूएल बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस टू थिंग वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द डीबीएमएस सो व्हाट इज डीबीएमएस डीबीएमएस स्टैंड्स फॉर डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू स्टोर द डेटा into database that is what we call as the database management system so uh, so for every database developer this is the first thing he should know or he sh she should know right okay so there are of multiple type of the database management system where we can store the data right so based on the different architecture the it's depend on the company which kind of structure they want so we do have a uh, we do have a centralized databases type of management system we do have a distributed databases we do have a no sql databases we do have a cloud databases we do have relational databases then network databases object oriented databases hierarchical databases so multiple type we have uh, for designing the database management system but now we are going to talk only about the relational database management system so relational database management system in short written like this rd bm it is also pronounced as rd bms so relational database management system is a kind of database management system where we can link table so there is a proper linkage and that kind of linkage we will say the referential integrity kind of stuff so this kind of system is called as the rd bms right so you understood right there are multiple type of the database model and we are talking about only one kind of model that is a rd bms when we talk about the relational database management system we need to learn a language and that language is called as the sql and sql stands for structured query language okay so when i talk about the relational database management system i need to understand a one language i need to learn a language why do i need to learn language first of all and why only is sql right it is also pronounced as sql also right so you know when we store data in a one database management system and you know for retrieving that data from the system we need to have a some kind of language and that language we have already defined right and that language is called as a sql okay so far we are clear so when i talk about the relational database management system i need to learn a language and the language is called as sql sql is used for storing the data into the database management system sql is used for retrieving the data sql is used for updating the data and sql is used for deleting the data right so we are clear right it's so simple now when i talk about the relational database management system it's a generalized concept right and there are a different different companies in the market um, those have used the rdbms concept and they have launched their own product let's talk about the microsoft microsoft is having their own rdbms software and they name it as sql server this is very simple and when i talk about oracle they also have their own rdbms system and that is the oracle they name like company one like we do have uh, like right right so different different companies has launched their different different relational database management system and all those are the rdbms from like we have in the market my mysql then we have postgres likewise we have a uh, different different uh, relational database management system so we won't talk more about those one we only focus on this two the microsoft and the oracle right when i talk about the microsoft microsoft has launched their rdbms product called as a sql server so when i talk about the rdbms definitely they have used a language for retrieving the data 
and the language is SQL. So when I talk about SQL Server, I do have a SQL there also. And when I talk about Oracle for retrieving the data, and when I talk about the relational database management system, it's a relational database management system, then definitely it is also having the SQL. Okay, so far it is clear. Relational database management system is a generalized concept. Every company has launched their own product. Microsoft has launched their product called named it as the SQL Server. Oracle has launched their RDMS product called as Oracle. As it is based on the RDBMS concept, so the language which is used for querying the data, for retrieving the data, for updating the data, for deleting the data is SQL. So definitely SQL is used. So SQL is common here. That's fine. But what but you know what happened as long as the data increases, as the complexity of the data increases, as the complexity of business logic increase, uh, normal SQL query was not fitting into the design. So so they launched their own kind of system, right? For example, I want to write a one business logic which will be um, for a hundred line, right? So I need to write a hundred query into the system and and those were getting complicated for maintenance right so for for that uh, for that every company has launched their own kind of system so when i talk about this sql server they launched tsql so in tsql basically transform tra basically long form for this is transactional or the transact sql in short when it, when i talk about tsql it is a transact SQL. So transact SQL it belongs to the SQL Server for what? For for the different kind of procedural logic. So what is procedural logic? When I want to write a program into relational database management system, I need to use the transact SQL objects in the SQL Server. And the same thing when the normal thing can't be handled with the SQL, and I need to go to the a long kind of uh, procedural logic then I need to go for the PLSQL so PLSQL is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a part of Oracle and obviously relational database management system which is used to write a complex business logic and which uses the Oracle objects and for uh, handling those objects Oracle named it as the PLSQL that is a procedural language SQL and the Microsoft has launched the transact SQL. So SQL Server also the example for the TL SQL I could say I would say procedure. Then we do have views. Functions. Right. Same for the T same for the PLSQL also we do have same thing but there are some additional thing additional functions are there for each relational database management system based on the requirement the way we write a procedure in a Microsoft SQL Server is different the way we write a procedure uh, in PLSQL is different right the way we write a function in Oracle is different and the way the way we write a function in SQL Server is different it's different so syntax changes but the ultimate aim is to uh, write a procedure yeah it is able to write procedure you know when we talk about the oracle we also we always need to uh, use commit or the rollback operation when we do that but for the sql server we don't need to go for the commit or the rollback thing it automatically handles right so a lot of different different thing i hope you guys understood the difference between the tsql and the plsql so this is the basic difference i know this video um, is quite long but i believe now you people don't have any doubt related with the difference between the tls T tsql and the plsql hope you like our video related with the difference between the tsql and the plsql and thanks for watching if you really like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe and have a great day ahead thank you so much